Hey everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a perfume haul that I want to share with you guys. I picked up some fragrances while I was here in Canada and there's one in particular that I am extra, extra excited about. I will leave that to the end of the video. So I have a mixture of some cheapies and then some just mid-range uh, designers and I have a niche one in here so it's just a mix of a lot of stuff. The first thing I want to show you is the least expensive of, out of all of these ones. This is actually something I picked up at the thrift store and it's actually from the body shop. <laughs> so this is the body shop Pink Grapefruit Body Mist $2.99 from Value Village and uh, it was seniors day so 30% off I was with my mom so it was really really inexpensive for this pretty much full bottle of uh, pink grapefruit body mist and I really like I really like the scent a lot I have gone through probably at least five big bottles of the shower gel of the pink grapefruit I love their shower gel collection it's just amazing I love the mango one as well I think uh, I'm using the strawberry one right now and uh, yeah they're just awesome really simple realistic uh, fruity scents and the body mist is also uh, a very realistic pink grapefruit scent that smells pretty much exactly like the shower gel and also the little uh, EDP I think is or EDT uh, but yeah this is great for the summer it is super hot where I am and just something light fresh citrusy uh, sweet and tart is perfect so yeah I think this is a fantastic deal for the uh, $2.99 minus 30% plus tax so whatever that comes out to you but super cheap love uh, love the body sprays and the scents from Bath and Body Works, which is, um, yeah, I don't think I've ever talked about any Bath and Body Works scents before, maybe once or twice, but it's not very often. So the next one I picked up here is actually from Winners. So a few weeks back, I did a video, uh, a silent shopping video showing you guys what's available at the Winners here in Canada. And I said in that video that I'll reveal what I picked up. And I picked up this scent right here, Moschino Toy 2 Bubblegum. And this is a EDT 30 mils and it was only $39.99. Actually, I think I can get this a little bit cheaper in the Netherlands, but you know, I'm a sucker for the bottle. The bottle is just so, so adorable. I have opened this already, you can see here, because I wanted to wear it yesterday and I did wear it yesterday and I enjoyed it. Here is the cute little bottle here. <laughs> I just adore the bottle design of this. It's just so cute and I know some people will say it's cheesy and juvenile and immature. Uh, for me, I just think it's, I don't know, it's just so fun and, and adorable. I'm, yeah, I'm totally for it. So I will review this um, at a later date. But let me just spray it here. Mm. So the opening is definitely the best part of this scent. Um, it does change as it dries down, but the opening smells very much like juicy fruit gum to me, which is a very familiar scent. Um, I love the taste of juicy fruit gum and uh, it's sweet and realistic bubble gum. And uh, again, the bottle is so, so, so cute. Uh, just looking at it makes me happy and um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy with this scent. It makes me happy. Even as I said, just looking at it makes me happy. But I'll get into the scent um, in, a, in a later video with a full review. So that's Moschino Toy 2 Bubblegum. I don't think I own any other Moschino scents actually now that I think of it. I used to own the Love is Love. Is that what, is that what it's called? Moschino Love something love <laughs> uh, that's uh, very similar to light blue by Dolce & Gabbana um, but I gave that away to my mom it's a really great scent but yeah so far this is my only uh, Moschino scent that I now own uh, speechy, speaking sorry of Dolce & Gabbana light blue I picked up another 
bottle of the love is love and this is a cute little 25 mil this is actually my second bottle of this one i finished the first one off very very quickly it's super easy to wear it's it's an amazing scent now i'll just uh look that there's a sticker there with the heart and uh i think when i first was testing this i was kind of like meh uh, but this one really grew on me the more I wore it and then going through the bottle that I had so, so quickly. Let me see if I can get this open. I don't know. I just realized that I loved it more than I, I thought I did. <laughs> the exact same thing happened with the Hugo Boss Private Accord, the scent Private Accord where um, I just went through the bottle so quickly and now it's like pretty much my favorite chocolate scent. Um, so here's the Love is Love. One of my favorite flankers of it, of the light blue. Always have loved the original one. But this one looks like that. This one is perfect for hot summer days. I did wear this, um, you know, in other seasons as well. Uh, but yeah, as I said, it's very, very hot where I am now. So this is going to be perfect for those hot days um, when it's like plus 30 and up. It's crazy. So the Love is Love, is Love version mm. does remind me of the original um, light blue. However, this one has, I believe... The addition of raspberries or some kind of red fruit to it and it's nice it's a very easy to wear uh, easy going easy grab um, not so complicated freshy scent that um, you know I I overspray this thing to be honest when I wear it <laughs> it doesn't ever feel so heavy it's just a nice pleasant scent that is just really really uh, one that I just grab for all the time. So second bottle of Love is Love by Dolce & Gabbana, Flanker of Light Blue. Now the next one here that I want to share you share with you guys is one that I also haven't opened yet. But I have reviewed this one uh, maybe like three months ago. Not too long. Sometime this earlier this year. This is from the House of Lancome and it's called Tresor Midnight Rose Lot de Parfum. Now with this one, ooh, there's some real. That's kind of nice. With this one, when I reviewed it, I think I said in that video that I wouldn't mind owning a bottle of it. And here it is. <laughs> so this one is kind of underrated, I would say. I do hear about it a little bit here and there. But I don't think it's like super, super popular as far as I know. Now, let me just get this open. It says Trezor Midnight Rose, a flanker of the Lancome Trezor. Uh, it smells nothing like the original Trezor, like from a while back. Like I think it was the 80s. But let's take a look at that bottle. It is adorable. It has a cute little flower in the front there. I can't remember the, what the notes are, but I know that it's very fruity. Let's see here. Mm. <laughs> oh, that is so, so beautiful. This is a fruity, sweet, kind of fizzy, floral. I think there's ro oh, there is rose, midnight rose, uh, like a sweet, fruity red fruit maybe raspberries something like that or strawberries raspberries that kind of thing <laughs> now i can't remember as i said what the notes are but i really really like this one um fantastic um scent that you can wear year round i think such a pretty pretty bottle this one is only 30 mils i think yeah 30 mils but i love this one you guys yeah, so that's another one I picked up, Trezor Midnight Rose. Now I have a niche scent here that I want to share with you guys. And this one is um, 
extra cool in my opinion because this niche house is actually from my hometown, Winnipeg. So yeah, this is called a Piper in Pero. That's the name of the house. And this one is called Arid. So I... Actually, when I first was trying this, I was testing them in the store and I had a hard time deciding which one I wanted. <laughs> Maybe I'll do another video explaining how that went, but I ended up walking out of the store with a little travel size of Arid. Let's see here. This is a 10 mil travel spray. $35. And okay, let's see here. Eau de Parfum, very um, underrated house, like it's a newer house, so I don't really hear so much about this house actually in the Fragcom, but I suspect that it would get, it's going to get more popular um, as time goes. So there it is, Arid. Now the notes in this one, I don't know what they are, but let me just spray it on here. Okay, <laughs> I do want to give this one a full review uh, later on, but this one to me is a very unique orange scent. Uh, orange is a, is a note that I love in fragrance. It's probably my favorite or one of my favorite fruity notes in perfumes. And this one is unique. It's It has like this dry orange scent to it with a little bit of spice, but also this orange is juicy at the same time. I don't know how <laughs> how it could be dry and juicy, but that's the feeling that it gives to me. Um, it's warm, but cooling at the same time. Uh, yeah, very interesting scent. Um, I have to test it more, wear it more, but I think it's fantastic, you guys. Great again for the hot summer days but you can wear this year round and basically it's just a very unique take on the note the main note of orange in here how there's like these contrasting aspects of it that just really really interest me so uh, Piper in Pero Winnipeg niche house um, I'm excited about this house you guys <laughs> and I have tested all of them already and I'm already thinking of getting another um, travel spray and then seeing if I need a bottle of them eventually but yeah uh, if you're looking for a new and upcoming uh, house to a niche house to look into uh, check out this Piper and Pero um, house so yeah arid lovely lovely spicy dry, juicy, hot, cold, um, orange perfume. And I, yeah, don't know what the notes are, but yeah, I will probably talk about this in another video, or maybe I'll talk about other, other fragrances from the house. And last but not least, I have a scent here. Uh, this is the one that is the most special, I would say. And that's because this was made by a friend of mine who is also from Winnipeg. And it's called Kissed by Rose. So it came in this little travel size here. And uh, there's a whole story how this came about. Uh, there was a fragrance competition in my city and then people submit their perfumes and this was chosen as the winner and it was only available for a limited time on the denatured website hopefully i'm getting all this right <laughs> anyways i ordered it when i was in the netherlands and finally i'm back in canada now and i have been testing this one you can see here there's a cute little card with a lot of the notes here um, created by my friend Natasha which is awesome hi if you're watching <laughs> and so there's some notes in here there's the top notes of white grapefruit and blood orange the heart notes are rose blossom and summer strawberries base notes are white musks vanilla amber and sugared raspberries so I'll just open this pouch up just a simple little travel size 10 mil here and uh I have worn this now a few times and let's see here it's a beautiful scent 
I like it a lot. And this one is a powdery scent. That's what I pick up right away. And I do sometimes struggle with powdery perfumes in general. But with this one, um, it's a very wearable, beautiful, elegant, powdery scent. What I pick up is this tangy fruitiness in the top here. And you get this fruitiness, uh, a fruity sweetness throughout the entire fragrance, which is really nice, kind of accompanying the powderiness of it. And it's it's a beautiful scent. I'm not sure if it's if you can still get it, I don't know. But yeah, I was really happy to support my friend who made this scent, <laughs> Kissed by a Rose. And yeah, that's uh, the last thing that I picked up on this haul. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this video haul. Uh, if you have tried these scents, with, uh, let me know what you think of them in the comments. Uh, thank you so, so much for tuning in today, and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.